Hey friends, I hope you can see me. I am trying to set my camera up on a tripod right now and um, record. <laughs> so, uh, I hope that um, I'm not blurry. And if I am, oops, no. Um, anyways, I am probably talking a little bit funny because I just had dental work and so my tongue is numb and like this side of my face is really numb. But I did my makeup and I feel like I look good right now, so I thought I'd do a video. And I wanted to do, I got tagged in a video from um, Tiffany Beauty 101, and so I thought I would do a response to it. So it's 20 questions, and I'm just going to go ahead and read. I have my phone here with um, the questions here and try to answer the best I can. I um, just briefly, really quickly looked at the questions, but didn't really think about my answers. So I don't know, <laughs> hopefully I don't ramble too much. But anyways, question one is, what is the one product you'd grab if your house was on fire? And I don't, <laughs> it's such a hard question. I don't think I'm that crazy about products that I would grab one if my house was on fire. Um, I am a mom of three, so I'd probably be so worried about getting my kids out of the house that um, that would be on my mind first. Um, but I am kind of ashamed to admit that I would try to make sure that I had my phone with me. I don't know why I'd want my phone or maybe even my laptop or something. Um, that sounds crazy. Um, that's what I'd kind of be more so than makeup <laughs> products. Maybe because all my makeup is cheap. Who knows? But anyways, um, number two is which beauty vlogger would you want to... Um, would... <laughs> I can't talk. What, which beauty vlogger would you want to do your makeover? And let's see, uh, I'm sort of new to watching beauty vloggers, um, so I don't know who I'd want to do my makeup. Maybe, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I'm going to have to think and maybe I'll edit the video with uh, a link to their <laughs> page. I can't think right now of that answer. Um, what celeb do you think you look like? Uh, I don't really think I look like anybody. I mean, maybe I do, but I can't think of any right now. I have been told before that I kind of look like um, um, Angelina Jolie and um, I don't think so. And um, uh, Beyonce a little bit maybe, um, but I don't know. I don't think I look like anybody. I couldn't think of any. You guys tell me, who do I look like? I don't really think I have a celebrity look alike, so I don't know. Um, number four, what beauty product do you save for date night? Um, saving for date night. Um, probably, it sounds silly, but primer. I mean, I have primers and I love using primers, but I typically actually don't even apply them that often unless I'm going out on a date and I really want my face to look flawless for my husband. Um, so, yeah, that's really the only thing I say for date night. Um, <clears throat> which of your guy friends takes longer <laughs> than you to get ready? Um, I don't really have any guy friends. I used to be, I used to only have guy friends when I was in high school because I just didn't really get along with girls very much. And, um, but I can't think of any, I don't really have any guy friends now that take longer. I think my one, uh, no, I won't say that, but anyways, um, yeah, I can't think of any, I don't have any guy friends right now. And my husband takes like five minutes to get ready and I take like an hour. So, none in my life right now. Number six is, if you could create your own Miracle Beauty product, what would it be? And it's so funny that this is a question because I was actually thinking on my way, um, home from the gym. Uh, that if I could create a um, primer or pore filler that actually helped clear your acne or um, your face, then that would be amazing. I don't know if there's one already out there like that. Um, if there is, someone tell me. I didn't do the research. But I was thinking that would be really awesome to have a primer that uh, heals your skin as you wear it. Right? That'd be awesome. Um, Otherwise, a Miracle Beauty product would be something that you could put on that actually perfects your face after, you know, like a month or something, and then you don't even need to wear makeup. I don't know if that'd be a good idea or not. <laughs> um, uh, number seven, what's your best beauty tip? My best beauty tip would be to just be yourself, I think, and, well... 
to be yourself and just be confident in who you are. So many people, it seems like they make excuses for the things they like and the things they wear and have to explain themselves, and that's nonsense. I say if you want to wear crazy colored makeup, then wear it. If you want to wear purple lipstick, then wear it. If you want to wear no makeup at all, then don't. I mean, just be yourself and be confident in who you are and what you like, and don't feel like you have to explain yourself to anybody, and if there's people who's going to put you down, then you don't need to be around them. Number eight. What beauty products do you love to splurge on? Um, to be honest, I don't really splurge that much on, I mean, just in general I splurge on makeup, I guess, um, but I don't buy big name brand products typically, except for the balm, and I usually get that from Ho Hope Look. Um, so I think probably just makeup in general, because when I do purchase makeup, I tend to buy in bulk, like cheap makeup in bulk, I guess you would say. So. That's what I splurge on. Um, nine, which beauty vloggers would you bring on a shopping spree? And that's totally easy, and that would be my girl, Andrea, Little Miss Andy, because we've gone shopping and stuff before, and I just adore her, and I love when we get to hang together. Um, but other beauty vloggers would just be um, some of the other girls, like Tiffany, who tagged me in this, and um, some of the other girls that I've met through vlogging and through Keek and stuff like that. I think a good, fun um, hangout would be amazing. So, uh, number 10, what is your signature scent? Everyone who knows me knows that vanilla is my signature scent. I love vanilla, I love everything vanilla. Um, I have three favorite scents that I mentioned actually in my very first video, um, so I won't mention them again, but vanilla is my signature scent ever since, mm, since elementary school, actually. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but I love it. 12, how many beauty products does it take to get ready? So um, on a typical day, I go to Zumba and the gym five days a week, so I, I am really quick to get ready, um, just do my face wash stuff and then some moisturizer and maybe concealer for the most part. But if I'm really getting ready, like for a date night or something, or a night out with the girls, then it's, uh, let's see, concealer, well, primer, concealer, foundation, bronzer, brush, <laughs> brush, blush, lip gloss, um, mascara, and then eyeshadows. So eight, I'd say eight to ten. There's probably more than that, I'm sure. Um, Thirteen, what lipstick, lip gloss is in your purse right now? And actually, um, uh, what's in my purse right now is Carmex, um, the cherry flavored one. And um, from Moody Sisters, their lip balm in vanilla chai. I love that stuff. And then actually, I have this by me because I have four of them. This is the Vanilla Be Noel um, lip gloss um, from Bath and Body Works. That's one of my favorite vanilla scents, and that's in my purse as well. I have four of them. That's why one's here by my bed and one's in my purse. Okay. Who is your celebrity beauty icon? And I don't really have a celebrity beauty icon. I guess if I had to pick one, it'd probably be Marilyn Monroe. I just adore her. I think she's gorgeous. But um, she mostly wore, like, you know, the nude eye and the, the red lips. So um, I don't know. As for beauty, I, she's, I guess she would be it. But I can't think of anybody else that I really look up to as a beauty icon, I guess. Um, so, 15, name the beauty brand you'd most love to be a spokesman for. Um, and I kind of am already a spokesman for a beauty brand, which is My Beauty Addiction. I am a promoter for My Beauty Addiction, and I don't get paid for um, promoting them at all, but I do get sent products for free to create looks and promote for them. So that's awesome. Um, I also do purchase my own products from them because I love them so much, and I actually really love promoting for my beauty addiction. I hope I could continue that for a long, long time. Um, but other than that, I think I would actually um, love to promote for um, or be a spokesman for the Balm. I love their products, and I love their flirty, fun packaging. It's the best, but their products, the quality is amazing too. They're like my favorite. Um, I feel like I'm rolling. I hope I'm not. <laughs> Okay, 16, what's your current nail polish? And I don't think you can see this, but I am wearing um, from Revlon, I think it's called Party Girl. It's like a pinky sheer color with a bunch of different um, glitter in it, different colored glitter in it. I'll correct that in, uh, when I edit the video if that's not the right name. Uh, favorite mascara right now? Everybody knows that Maybelline's Define Lash Mascara, the green tube, is my absolute favorite. Do not like waterproof. I don't like waterproof of any kind of mascara. And um, 
uh, the black is black is the kind I wear, but that's my absolute favorite, has been for a few years now, um, and I'm sure it'll stay my favorite. So 18, the last thing you bought at Sephora, and I actually have never been shopping at Sephora. Um, because I don't have one in my area and I've looked online but it's kind of hard online I like to see things in person um, before purchasing not to say I don't ever purchase products online I do all the time but when it comes to high-end stuff I'm kind of iffy about just purchasing online if I don't really know about it first so I've never purchased anything from Sephora that's kind of sad 19 I try never to be seen without wearing I feel like I missed one yeah I did miss one I missed 11 Pfft, sorry guys I'll go back to the one I try never to be seen without wearing, um, clothes, probably. <laughs> uh, I used to be so terrified to go out without makeup, and I think I mentioned that in my first video. Um, so, um, I would at least never be seen without wearing at least concealer, because I have really dark circles, and uh, maybe mascara. Um, now I don't really mind so much with a bare face, even though I have my dark circles and lots of acne problems. Um, but I really don't mind a bare face, so I don't mind n not being seen without wearing any makeup, so <laughs> I'm just going to be funny and say clothes. Um, 20. What's one beauty product you'd always recommend? Um, probably... So, beauty product I would always recommend would probably be my skincare routine, which is Trace Skin RX. And then I'm going to go back to number 11, which is I am on an endless quest for the perfect... Um, and I would probably say the perfect concealer um, for my dark circles. I My favorite right now is Glamouflage by Hard Candy, but I'm sure there's something better out there. I'm sure that a high-end product would probably be a little better, but I'm just nervous to spend that much money if it's not really going to work for me. So that is what I'm on the perfect quest for. And my battery is about to die, so I will just end there because that is all the questions. But instead of rambling on, I'm just going to stop. And I will try to think of who I want to tag and tag them. Um, in the description box or maybe edit um, their names into the video or something like that. So um, thanks for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed this tag video and learning a little bit more about me. So 